Welcome back. In this lesson, we'll learn how to use the OpenAI's ChatGPT plugin with directual scenarios. Let's create a new app. This time, it'll be a chatbot for Telegram because that's a good way to test conversational artificial intelligence. If you want, you can also use the plugin for web applications. We'll use Botfather to make our new bot. That's a Telegram service bot for managing and creating new, well, bots. Now, to create a new app. Choose the Telegram bot template and don't forget to insert the token you've received from Botfather. There's our app. Let's test the bot. Because we created it from the template, it's already responding to us and asking for our phone number. Now we look at the scenarios and here we have a special one called Router, which routes messages. Because we're going to connect the ChatGPT plugin, we can delete all the steps from it. Now we have only three main scenarios left. Pass incoming Telegram messages, Router and Message Processing. Now let's add a new step that simply says, Hi, I'm the OpenAI bot. Let's see if it works. Great, there's our message. Next, we need to install the OpenAI plugin, which will allow us to add two new steps to the scenario, processing text information and generating images. To install the plugin, you'll need an API key. Check the documentation for that. As you see, it takes two steps, opening an OpenAI account and then getting an API key. You'll need a mobile to receive a text message and register an account. Not all international numbers work, but don't worry. It's easy to buy a suitable eSIM card on the internet. Now copy the API key and you're done. The plugin is installed. Go back to the scenarios and delete ones you don't need. OK, go back to the router scenario and remove the Telegram step. We don't need it anymore. Now the Scenario Steps panel should only contain two new steps, Text to Image and Text Completion. Let's look at how it converts texts to images first. It's really quite simple. In this step, we send the text and save the result. And that gets saved as a file type context variable called response. This kind of context variable is very similar to a string variable. Now save the result in the response context variable and send the user's text to the bot in Telegram. Publish the scenario and check it. Let the AI draw a dog. Look at the logs. So far, only the first step has been executed. OpenAI needs time to respond, usually only a few seconds. Now we have a context variable with a URL containing an image. Well, it looks like a hand-drawn dog. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now let's make the scenario respond to the bot's user in Telegram. First, we add a service step. That will make the user think that the bot is typing something while OpenAI is preparing an answer. Feedback like that is important because it lets the user know that something is happening and that the bot is preparing a response. We'll use professional mode in the Telegram step, select the send chat action method and then the specific action, typing. The user will see that the bot is typing something then, when the step returns the response, we'll send him back an image. Don't forget to add comments to the scenario to make it easier to follow in the future. In the response step, we'll use the send photo method and send our context variable in JSON as an image or photo. OK, that should do it. Let's publish the scenario and test the bot.
This time we'll ask the AI to generate a picture of a cat. See, the bot pretends to type while it's thinking. Well, that definitely is a cat. Let's ask for a ginger one. That's better. We have a nice ginger cat. Now let's figure out how to have a text dialogue with the AI. Let's add a branch to the scenario so that when the user asks for something to be drawn, that query goes to the text to image part. To do that, we need a regular expression. A regular expression is a pattern of text that's checked against a set of rules to see if it matches. In our case, we'll search for a phrase containing any of the following words. Draw, image, or paint. The directual documentation has a good reference guide to regular expressions. You can see the most common characters used. There's also a link to rejects101.com. Quite a useful site for building and testing regular expressions online. Okay, let's get back to the bot. If the user asks it to draw something, we send it to the text to image part. And if not, we send it to the text completion part. Now we'll use a simple version of the query where we simply send the text from the user to OpenAI and get a response. There's no dialogue here. It's just a request response exchange. The response from the AI is sent back to Telegram. Again, don't forget to add comments. OK, now we'll send a text message with the value of the context variable. Publish the scenario and test the bot. First, we check the scenario's branching. Now, ask the bot to draw something. For example, we could ask it for some trees. OpenAI thinks for a few seconds and draws some trees. Now, if we ask, what is the United Kingdom? OpenAI tells us that the United Kingdom is a country that includes England, Scotland, Wales, and part of Ireland. Now we really get to the fun part. How to generate a meaningful dialogue with the context. The text completion step has a link to the documentation with examples of complex prompts. It says we should send a query with the entire conversation history, separated by stop words. Essentially, these are the names or IDs of the conversation partners. There can be up to four conversation partners, and the conversation history has to be stored somewhere. Go to the chat structure where we already have a standard context variable field. Now, add another. Open AI history, which should just be a simple string. We will fill it in, but first we need to create a mechanism to reset the context variable. There's a message processing scenario to do that. It's the slash start command. And we'll add another field to reset the conversation history. Write an empty value into the OpenAI history field in the chat object, and the bot responds, let's start from the beginning. Publish that scenario and go back to the router scenario. In the second branch, use the Edit Object step to add the ability to save the conversation history. And of course, as usual, don't forget to add comments. Here's what we type into the OpenAI history field of the linked chat object. First, the value of the field, which is already there. Then, we add what the user asked. Next, it's the user ID. Then a colon and the text. The bot ID, then another colon and the response. That's how we store the whole conversation history. The stop words will be 
user, and AI. Then we don't just send the text as a prompt, but the history as well. To recap, that's the OpenAI history field from the chat object, the user query, the text, and the AI response, which is still empty because we're asking OpenAI to respond. Now, add the two stop words separated by commas. That's quite a lot, so let's test it. Let's check our context variable reset. Type slash start. The bot will want to start from the beginning. Let's say hello. It greets us too. Now, we introduce ourselves. Type your name. OK, the bot should now remember your name. Let's ask it. And yes, the bot answers, Paul. Now, if we try to reset the conversation history and ask again, the bot doesn't remember who we are anymore. And that's how you can use OpenAI with Directual for complex dialogues. Have fun with that. And see you next time.